All right, welcome back, everyone. It's No High here. Merry Christmas and Happy Mercenary Day. And we are in this video. We are going to be doing one single General Knox's Armory farm to see what we get for Christmas. So General Santa Knox has generously offered us his full armory to open up for Christmas Day, but we only get one run at it. One single run to see what we can get because you know in real life whenever you open presents and if you don't get what you want you don't get to just close the present and then open it back up and farm it until you get the present that you actually want for example if you open up a present and you get socks you don't get to close the present then reopen it and hope to get an xbox or a playstation so yeah general knox is using perfect logic here we get one single run here on Christmas Day. He's allowing us one to get a pearl or something else really, really good. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. We're going to do one single run here of General Knox's armory, the armory run, and, and open up all the chests we can and see if we can get a pearl or, you know, something else, like I said, really good. Uh, I figured this would be a pretty, pretty cool video to do. Uh, one, it will help with my live commentary skills. Two, uh, we can, you know, maybe get a pearl. Three, I was really uh, wanting to do a video for Christmas Day. I couldn't really figure out what to do. And then I thought, hey, there's literally an armory run we can do that's kind of like opening presents. So I figured, you know, why not? There is a mini DLC in Borderlands 2 that is Christmas themed. But I feel like this more fits this fits Christmas a little bit more because you know there's so much stuff to open. So I figured we do one full live uncut run of this uh, of the armory to see what we get. We get one chance at it. Uh, yeah, this will also give me a chance to talk to you guys for a minute while we're on the way there, uh, opening a couple things and everything. So uh, I did want to ask you guys what did you guys get for Christmas? What did you want? Did you get what you wanted for Christmas? Did you not get it? And what did you want the most? And everything like that. Me personally, uh, I wanted AirPods. That was the main thing that I wanted. And I did end up getting that. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty cool. The main reason I wanted AirPods is because my uh, I have an iPhone. Obviously, if I'm getting AirPods, I have an iPhone. That's pretty much self-explanatory. But I hated not being able to listen to my music or anything while my phone was charging uh, because, you know, it uses the same port as the earphones. So that's the main thing I wanted. I, w I just wanted to be able to listen to music or whatever I was doing on my phone at the same time while it was charging. And it's kind of just an added bonus that they're wireless. So that's pretty cool as well. But yeah, feel free to let me know down in the comment section what you guys wanted for Christmas, and if you indeed got what you wanted for Christmas. I'll be reading all those comments. But yeah, a couple other things too while we're on the way there. A uh, little bit of news about the channel. Uh, the playthrough video for tomorrow, it, you know, I dropped the last one on Saturday. This one's supposed to be dropping on Saturday if I can get it done in time. You guys know, you know, Christmas is kind of a hectic time, I'm sure, for a lot of people including me uh, I will be having to go to other family members houses that don't live you know like immediately around me and that day will probably be Saturday so I'm really trying to work as hard as I can to get the playthrough video done for Saturday but if I cannot get it done for Saturday then it will be out Sunday now I did want to talk about this really quick as well I don't plan on the playthrough videos being only once a week uh, my plan was to start up the playthrough since a bunch of people were asking about it and just upload one a week for just like a couple weeks. And then once New Year's is over, so Chris, once Christmas is over and then we get to the new year and, you know, New Year's is over, that's the last pretty big holiday to deal with where, I, you know, I might actually have to go somewhere and do something. And once that is done, we are going to start uploading like every two days we'll upload a new playthrough video. Or I'm, I was thinking about doing every single day. I, not every single day, but every other day. My bad. But that might be just a little bit too much to squeeze in there. You know, with me having to make guide videos and stuff every day in between that. So, 
I think the plan right now is to upload every two days once we get into the new year. Once we get into the new year, then we'll start doing, you know, uh, a playthrough video every two days. Uh, so yeah, that was the original plan to begin with. I just wanted to start out, you know, uploading just one a week, just until we got through Christmas and we got through New Year's. So that is the plan. Also, as you guys are going to see, I've kind of changed up my uh, what I do here on my armory runs now. So now I've started, I, I thought it would be really cool to actually get a pearl to drop from a drifter. So I've been, there's normally two drifters that spawn in this little area right here every single time. So I've been killing these two drifters every single time just to see if they drop me a pearl. Because they actually can drop pearls if you guys don't know. There are also two badass enemies that spawn in right before you enter the area where General Knox is. Right at the end of it. At, in this area that we're coming up into here in just a minute. And I've been killing those two because badass enemies can also drop pearls. I thought it would be really cool to get a pearl from one of those two or these two drifters. I only killed these two. There are normally about five or six that spawn through this whole area. Uh, that uh, Drifters. But I have not been killing those. I've just been killing these two since they're in, they're in this immediate area. And they are very easy to kill because if you, get, if you back up far enough in that little space back there, you're out of like their roaming zone. So they just won't attack you at all. They'll just sit there and kind of do that little animation and you can just sit back and use the lock on rockets on the monster and just kill them. So yeah, very, very easy to do there. But yeah, we're going to make our way up here. We're almost to General Knox. We're almost to Santa Knox. We're going to see what he got us for Christmas. Hopefully it is a pearl or something else. Also, if you guys didn't know, just the other day, I mean, I can't really ask for more than what I got the other day. I kind of wish that would have happened on Christmas. But I got easily one of the rarest weapons in the entirety of the Borderlands series. It's easily probably like top 5. I know for a fact top 10. Uh, it's a legendary Iridian. If you guys have not seen that video, I wish I would have got my reaction live for that video. I didn't though, but I got a legendary Iridian. Those things are rare as hell, guys. Okay, easily one of the rarest. Uh, some people say those things are rarer than pearls, like I mentioned in the video. Very, you will very seldom run into one of those weapons. If you run into one of those, consider yourself lucky, like I was the other day, because it's not something you see too often. And sometimes we do get a badass to spawn right here at the start, so we will kill him to see if he drops a pearl. He does not, so we can go ahead and move on up here. Now, there are three areas that can spawn a chest here, and only two of them will always spawn a chest, and one of them will be empty. Let's see which one we get. I'll always check this one first. This is one of our possible spawn locations. And, yeah, we got one here. This will be the one that have the little loot tank in it as well, yeah, because the way it's facing. You can uh, always tell which, two of the, which one of these chests have the little loot tank in it. Because it will always be facing a certain way. Like, this chest will be facing towards this direction if it has the loot tank in it. Uh, see, it's facing this way this time, so it does not have it. We got two rocket launchers. Nothing there. And now we're coming up on our final two bass enemies we'll have to kill before we get to Nox. They always spawn right here. So let's kill them. See if we get anything. I can't tell what he's using in his hand. It looks like a pistol, so I don't think it's going to be anything. That's all. That was always a very cool detail. That I loved so much in Borderlands 1 that they've never really brought back before. And that's the fact that some whenever you kill an enemy in this game, there's a very good chance that they're using the weapon that they drop. They will actually drop it. Like, you can run into enemies straight up using a Hellfire in this game. And if you kill them and you see it, it they will actually drop the Hellfire. I always thought that was so cool in this game. Just little tiny details that sometimes Borderlands just excels more in than any other borderlands game but yeah here we are we're almost at Knox. we're gonna kill old santa Knox real quick and we're gonna see what he got us for mercenary day or christmas whatever you want to call it we're gonna see what he got us as soon as we kill him it's not a hard fight at all if you guys know anything about general Knox or anything like that he pretty much flinches at the slightest touch of his head so this is literally, if you have a good build, this is literally the easiest fight of your life. You can, you basically just flinch General Knox to death whenever you go to kill him, pretty much. 
Here we go, over halfway. He's almost there. The only annoying thing about this fight is whenever these, these little minions get in the way, they'll just kind of bounce you around. You don't even have to focus on them, just make sure you're focusing on Nox the whole time. And he literally just dies. He literally just does nothing. It's so crazy, like, I like this fight, but it's literally just so easy. He, I mean, you literally just flinch General Knox to death, it's crazy. Go down, doesn't matter, just keep focusing on him, and he is dead. So let's make our way into the armory. And see what General Knox, Santa Knox, have, has got us this year. I'm hoping for a pearl. Uh, it'll be really cool to get a pearl on my only run that I've done all day today on Christmas Day. But, you know, you never know. We may actually get one. It would be all, I mean, it would be absolutely insane, like, absolutely ridiculous if we got a legendary Iridian on this run. Uh, I don't see that happening. I mean, it took literally years for me to get that one I just got the other day. So, I don't see that happening, but you know, we're, we're going to be confident here. We're going to hope we can get, we can, we're going to hope we can get something. First two chests are a bust, didn't get anything. Let's see here. Next chest, did we get anything in this one? Nope, all blues. On to the next one. Single chest in this one, what we get. Double Iridian. I literally get that all of the time. If you guys have ever watched me do farming runs on, on the armory, I literally get double Iridian Crimson Lance chest at least three times a run. Like, it's absolutely insane. Alright, next chest. Nothing in this one. On to the next. This is going to be one of our double chest rooms. Let's see what we get out of here. I thought for just a second when I saw that blue, I thought that was a pearl at first. But it is not. It is just a blue rarity rocket launcher. Next, this one right here. Let's see what we get. Nothing. I always like to check these SMGs sometimes just to see if I can maybe find one that has a higher damage than this one, this purple one I use right here. But I, I'm telling. I don't think I'm ever gonna find a better SMG, purple like anarchy SMG than this one right here. It's been so good to me for as long as I've had it. It's such a good submachine gun for this build. Another double chest room, double Iridian once again. That's probably why I actually ended up getting a legendary Iridian the other day because I literally get so many double Iridian chests. It's ridiculous. All right, two more rooms to go. This one we get all class mods, so we ain't getting no pearl out of that one. And our final room here, two chest, double chest room to finish it off and we get nothing so now we're on over here to the elevator and we'll go up here and do the circle area so let's make our way up here make our way to this chest see what we get double iridian again like i said like four or five every run so yeah so far nox has not delivered anything of importance that we want so far hopefully this will improve here near the end. We're going to do the little circle area now. Let's see what we get. Nothing here. On to the next one. Nothing on this one either. Just another double rocket launcher chest. Next. Nothing in this one. This is one of the chests we're kind of looking out for. Uh, we're looking, we're on the hunt for that Nemesis Invader. I'll be, you know, I'll probably never get that thing. But chests like this where it has a bunch of revolvers and repeaters in it, those are the chests that might spawn a Nemesis Invader because, you know, it's a repeater and pistol chest. Nothing in that one. We actually got a white in that one. That's super unlucky. All right, back down the little elevator, and we'll make our way down here to our final couple of chests. So we have... We have four chests left. Two in here and then two across the bridge. We got four chests left to get a pearl. Can we get it? Nothing in this one. Another pistol chest, though. Be, always be on the lookout for those if you're looking for that Nemesis Invader. All right, last chest in this area right here. Then we have two across the bridge to finish us off. Double Iridian again. Will you look at that? That's totally surprising. Completely surprising to me. 
All right, two more down here. Then we are done. This elevator will hurry up. Two chests left. Two presents left from General Santa Knox to see if we get something. Nothing in this one. One chest left. Our last present from General Santa Knox to see if we get something. And we get absolutely nothing so this year pretty much general santa knox got us a whole bunch of socks no pearls not no cool legendaries anything santa knox brought us a whole bunch of socks for us to open but yeah i hope you i hope you guys did enjoy this uh little video video here for christmas day i did i want i just wanted to make something not too complicated not too long where it didn't really require, really require me to do a whole lot of editing and just get this video out there for you guys here for Christmas Day. I thought it would be a cool little video to do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. Like I just said, I've just repeated myself. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.